Oh, here it is. Here it is. So we got the we got the first look uh, at zombies for the Call of Duty Vanguard. This is gonna be the video. Gotta peep it. Gotta peep it. Our partners at Sledgehammer Games have already revealed Call of Duty Aww, Vanguard. They brought most of the campaign, an intense multiplayer, all set in World War II, and now. Keeping true to our zombie's nature, Treyarch is back for another round. The studio responsible oh, for bringing zombies to Call of Duty more oh, than a decade hard. ago returns to World War II and Sledgehammer Games' is a vanguard, setting the stage for a new zombie's experience. Black Ops Cold War offered the team at Treyarch the opportunity to introduce players to the Dark Ether storyline, beginning with the opening of the Dark Ether gateway at Project End Station. And now, prepare to face a new type of evil meet new allies, and make new enemies. Prepare for a gameplay experience that gets you to the fun faster, all wrapped in a brand new dimension of zombies. In Vanguard, we're introducing a brand new zombies experience and a franchise first crossover that builds on the Dark Ether universe. Brand new. And today, our team will share more about the story, the lore, core gameplay, weapons, and characters that will define the next chapter in the zombies saga. The first oh, thanks, Brands, thanks, Brands. Type, the world premiere, the new zombies gameplay trailer. Let's go! We've already seen this part. I, I want to hear them talk, get more into the detail. Why do you care for me? Stand clear, Playtime! About to begin. Alright, alright, start talking about it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stops to tell a new, brutal story that expands and explores the unsettling world the dark ether it's a story that longtime players will appreciate but one that will be easy for new players to pick up and play oh, wow. in addition to being canon it's an experience that immerses and innovates on the core treyarch zombies gameplay this is deron funk deron funk deron funk deron funk with deron funk exploring the mystical and the occult it was important to convey an unsettling and brutal feel to the world. Sight lines will be obscured by piles of dead corpses from Soviet and German soldiers, and it all comes to life, so to speak, in Vanguard's epic World War II setting. With Vanguard Zombies, we really tried to bring a new experience for all types of different players, from current players and really to getting new players into the Zombies ecosystem, right? Okay. Cold War brought Outbreak, and we've really taken the best mechanics, smashed it together, and created Vanguard Zombies. What's changing? Come Our on! Our enemies have allies from beyond this mortal realm. So Duran Funk, the beginning. It's the start of a new Treyarch Dark Ether zombie story. The events of Black Ops Cold War brought an end to one storyline. The events of Vanguard represent a new arc. Wait, so are they not following Peck? Wait, so what's gonna happen with Peck? I'm so, they better not just lose out on that whole story. What's gonna happen? Zombies players have witnessed the catastrophic outcome, the science experiments at Project End Station. Project End Station was a Nazi particle accelerator that punched a hole through the dimensional veil and gave us access to the dark ether where these five otherworldly artifacts come from. Okay. Each one linked to a powerful dark ether entity. There is Cortifex the Deathless, Xeraxis the Shadow, Nordicus the Conqueror, Invictor the Destroyer, and Belakar the Warlock. These dark ether entities bind their powers to our human operators through artifacts crafted in the dark ether, each granting oh. unique abilities like Frost Blast and Ring of Fire. Now, anyone who touches them forms a symbiotic bond with a dark ether entity. It's almost like being possessed. So it's like BO4 almost with like all the different totems and stuff. Best, except the entities can't control their hosts. They can only offer guidance and their powers. Exposure to the dark ether also allowed the Nazis to expand their research into dark magic. Enter Oberfuhrer Wolfram von List, a ruthless officer in command of an SS battalion called the Varheit. This was the group that plundered antiquities from around the world. Von List forced top experts to help him, explorers, historians, and a demonologist named Gabriel Kraft. Professor Kraft's deep knowledge of the occult ultimately led Von List to these artifacts. Von List bonds with okay. the most powerful entity of them all, Cortifex, the Deathless. 
This former lord of the Dark Aether grants him the ability to raise the dead. And that that's why, rise! a year after their worst defeat, Von Lys rise! takes Divor Height back to Stalingrad. And he's going to raise an undead army, march them across Europe, and annihilate the Allied forces. The zombies uh, actually are on dead bodies from the past war at the Eastern Front. Professor Kraft sends out a distress call. That call is answered by Vanguard Special Forces operators. But they end up trapped inside a barrier erected by Cortifex to seal off Stalingrad. They can't call for reinforcements. But they have Professor Kraft's expert guidance and their own unmatched combat skills. And four Dark Aether entities willing to bond with them and share their powers. They do this in the interest of defeating court effect. I'm almost kind of mad that they're only that they're bringing because like frost blast was trash. It's, I, I don't even know. I wish they would just make all new stuff. Of course, definitely bring back Ring of Fire. But I mean, hey, you know what can we do? It's the deathless. While these entities may be helping humans, players will find out that they have their own agendas. It's an unlikely team up, but it's our only shot at keeping the Third Reich from winning World War II. Rise, River. So we're going back to like the really old we had a kind lot of variants of, fun of zombies. The different objective environments. Each location has a very distinct Third Reich type look shit. and feel to the play space, so that no two areas will feel similar. As players explore the realm of dark ether magic against the backdrop of Stalingrad, they'll encounter oh. shrines, rituals, and sacrifices. With so many different elements in play, it was important to establish unique visuals. It is a look that feels more grounded, something you can have nightmares about. The occult was something they really wanted to touch. It has so many different variables, like summoning portals, blood rituals, hanging skulls. But is it going to be round based? Is. That's what I want to know. When it comes to zombie types, we run the gamut. We have your basic grunt zombie, and we also have our heavies. These big guys carry around mini guns, what? and uh, those are the Sturm Kriegers or Storm Warriors. They are really hard to crazy. bring down, and it's hard to avoid oh. them when they shoot. But we also have something called the Boom Schreier, which means Boom Screamer in German. These are zombies that will run real quick and explode in contact. It's a, a wide variety oh, of threats, those, and they all start man. to pile up as you get further in rounds. Approaching their armed oh, 